Hey guys, it's Tina, and Paul has been asking me lately to do a video on how to make a graphic using the app that we all love called A Beautiful Mess. Now, if you do not have this app, you can go to your Play Store or you can go on to your Apple device and enter in the words A Beautiful, and it will pop up because it's a very popular app. This one is a beautiful mess, and you can see I have it installed already on my device, and so I don't have to install it, but if you do need to, it will cost you 99 cents for the basic app. I advise you to go ahead and get that installed, and then you can learn how to do these fun graphics that you see everyone doing on social media. So I'm gonna touch this here. This opens up some of my apps, and here is the one for a beautiful mess. And um, it will show you your last graphic that you made. Um, I'm going to start again. So when you open it for the first time, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the main menu. On the main menu, you can click here to learn tips and tricks. Uh, I advise everybody to go there and learn different things because they kind of walk you through several things to know about the app. Here you can choose a solo photo to work with, or you can choose a collage. So I'm gonna to touch solo, and now it's asking me to add an image. Now I can hit this squirrely arrow here, and it will go back to the beginning. And if you've already started a project and you touch this, it will ask you if you wanna start over. So there's an opportunity there for you to start over. Now let's say you don't wanna put a photo, you just wanna start with the background and you can choose a color. And here are all the colors for the backgrounds. You can choose anything, but I do wanna start with a photo. Now this opens up the photos that are in my uh, gallery on my phone. And so I'm gonna find something that we should use. Okay, how about this one right here? I've been teaching a lot about foods that I like to eat that are healthy. And so this little check mark right here tells the app that this is what you're selecting and that's what you wanna work with. Now you'll see I have a new menu down here. There's filters, borders, uh, doodles, uh, text, and phrases. And now they've also added the word done right here. If I am finished with my project, I hit done. But until I am, I leave it. Okay, so let's do a border um, around this photo that I have. Here are your borders. You can choose from all sorts of borders. Across the top on every menu, you're gonna see different things that you can purchase with an additional um, 99 cents. So you can add to the borders that come with the package. So I'm just gonna use what comes with the package for right now, and I like this one. Um, anytime you select anything in the menu at the bottom, it will apply it in white. Sometimes you can't even see it because your background is already very light or it may be white, but anytime you touch a color, you can change the color of that background. So you just find something that you like that's complementary to your photograph and continue with your edit. Sometimes these can take a long time just because you're exploring different options and it's just fun. You got really bright colors. You have colors that'll blend in. I think I would like something to go with the natural colors. So like if I want the brown, but I don't really want it quite that brown. This here, you click and drag it and it will change the color to be more transparent. Let me show you that with something that's a little brighter. You see how that just fades to almost nothing? That's kind of a fun thing to play with too. So if you find a color and it's just too bright, then slide this bar. And then I like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my check mark, which tells me I'm done with that step. Now, I could apply a doodle. I could hit text or phrases. Let's go with phrases. These are pre-selected words written in really happy fonts. And when you select them, they are automatically added in the way that looks. So I think yum 
is a great word for this particular picture because these are yummy trail bars. See how I changed the color? I can change the transparency of that. But when I put it on there, it was automatically white, so I changed the color. By putting both fingers and dragging it, it's resizing it. So you can make it really big or really small. And it will stay that way until I hit the check mark. Now, let's say I decided I just don't like the way that looks. I can double click on that word and now it's given me an opportunity to move it around again. I can change the color. I can resize it. I can put it down here if I want to do that. I can change it. Using both fingers is what will change the size and the shape. So when you're ready, you just hit done. I'm sorry, you hit the check mark. So I can add a doodle to this. There's exclamation points, all kinds of fun, popular things. I love these arrows, flowers, um, squiggly arrows, hearts, little boxes where you can then put text in the middle of it. In fact, why don't we try that? See how it turns white? I'm going to resize it and put this here. I'm going to leave it white and hit my check mark. Now let's choose a text to put in the middle of that. When I hit text, I'm given an opportunity to choose a font. And these are fun to play with. Some look like cursive writing. Some are more uh, smaller letters. Some are bigger letters. Now I chose my font and it's given me a place to start typing it in. I can choose left, middle, or right on my orientation of that. So whatever I type out is what it's going to say. So let's put my favorite. It's an exclamation point. Now see how my favorite is way across the middle and it's white. I want to resize it and stick it right into that little conversation bubble. So it looks like it was all one thing. It's pretty fun. And then I can hit my check mark when I'm done. Okay, so you don't want your graphics to get too overcrowded with things. Different applications and different projects that you're working on, it's just kind of like artwork. So just work with it until you've got it the way you want it. And then when you're ready to be done with it, hit done. Now it's become a finished project. It is in my gallery, so I can go over to my gallery and these smartphones will go ahead and make a folder for that app called A Beautiful Mess. So you can see all of my Beautiful Mess apps are right here, or, or projects are right here in this app. So this is the one I want to work with right now, and you see it's open. I'm given some opportunities at the top to do something with that. So I can hit this little button has the, it looks like a sideways um, V. It opens up another place where you can choose to share it on Facebook, Instagram. You can send it in a text message. You can send it in an email. If you want to put it on Facebook, that's fine. It'll go ahead and open my Facebook app. However, if I want to put it in a group, See, this is going to post it on my regular timeline. If I want this graphic to go in a group, what I need to do is go back to the graphic and I like to just email it to myself. There's several ways you can do this, but I want to email it to myself so now I can open my email on my laptop and I have the opportunity there to do lots of other options with it with my Facebook um, account. So that way I can put it into a uh, message there in a group or, or someplace else besides just my regular timeline. So that is a beautiful mess. You see, I just opened it again. It takes me back to the apps home, uh, to the front of the app with the thing I just did. If I hit share from the app, 
it'll also open up some of these windows. However, when I hit Facebook and then let's say I go ahead and I post this to my timeline, my friends are going to see where this was created with a beautiful mess. So it kind of advertises for the app and I'm not so sure I want that to be on my Facebook timeline. So I choose not to share it from the app. I like to just share it from other places like I showed you before. Okay, so that's how you do just a basic project with a beautiful mess. I'll do another video because it gets into a, a little bit more steps on how to do a collage. So look for that soon. Hope you enjoyed it.